UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. So, okay guys, so let's go ahead and start our class today. So, in our last class, we have started discussing about our word count example, right? So, we had viewed the screen and we had discussed about it like on a very high level what happens from the start of our input and how we are going to get our final result, right? So, if we discuss it one again, on a very high level, we can say like each record, each input text file will be split into number of records and each input split will be sent as an input to our map face. So in this example we have three splits here and so that's the reason we are having three mapper classes here. So once each map is reduced, I mean is processed, we will get each as a list of key value pairs and in our shuffle and sort phase what happens is based on the keys we will be collecting and sent to one single reducer on it. So and it it is again up to the developer to decide how many reducers you want or whether we want to go with our default reducer. Okay. So here as a developer I decided to have four reducers as I am having four keys such that each key will be going to one single reducer. And at the reducer phase what I am doing is getting based on the key value I am adding up or I am aggregating all the values of that particular key. So suppose if you see here bear comma 1 and bear comma 1 in my reducer phase I am doing it as bear comma 1 plus 1 which is 2. So the same thing is happening with car for car car comma 1 car comma 1 car comma 1 I am having it as car comma 3 and same with deer and river and this I am finally throwing my final result. So let us see this through the programming how we are doing it. Okay. Before directly going into the program, let's have a <coughs> algorithm on it. Okay, such that while looking into the program it will be much more easier for us to understand the code. So first of all I am trying to explain you like how we are going to write the code for this program. So this slide says like count the number of occurrences for each word in the large amount of input data. So let us have an example and for that what we are doing in our map phase is for each input underscore key and in input underscore value I am trying to emit it as key comma value. That means for each word w in input value I am emitting word comma 1. So for every word in this input file, every word in the sense bear is a word, bear is a word and river is a word. So for every word I am emitting it as word comma 1. In the sense dare bear river will be divided into dare comma 1, bear comma 1 and river comma 1. And what I am doing in my reduce program is I am sending this particular key on all the list of values. So each reducer here will get bear comma 1 and bear comma 1. So for example if I take my reducer 1 which is bear comma 2 which is resulting bear comma 2 I will have the input as key 2 comma list of v2 that is bear comma 1 and bear comma 1. So if you observe here the k2 is equal but the list is huge that means more than 1. So output key comma iterator. So I am iterating each of the value for that particular key. So I am setting up a variable called as count which is equal to 0 and for each v in intermediate values count is equal to count plus v. 
So every time I am incrementing the count with that value. So for the first time it will be 1 and again for this loop repeated again. For the second time the count will be 2. So until and unless the loop is finished I will do the same procedure for all the iterated values and finally I will emit the key comma the count the whole count aggregated value of that particular key. So that is what typically my reducer function will do. So I am explaining it with an example. So here my key is 3414. So if you remember my key is <coughs> the length of my whole value itself. Right? So the position of that particular word is taken as key itself. So if you imagine that the cat sat on the mat, line is starting at 3414 position, my key comma value would be 3414 comma the cat sat on the mat. And the same with the at work sat on the sofa. So this particular line is starting at that position 3437. So that is the reason I have the values as key and values in the way I had shown in the slide. So once it goes through the mapper phase, it will be emitted with each word separated comma 1. Right? That is what our algorithm says. Emit word comma 1. So it is emitting separately. D is coming one time, cat is coming one time, sat is coming one time and on is coming one time. Again the D is coming one time, mat is coming one time, D is coming one time. And so on our whole input string will be divided into key comma 1. And now the intermediate data is sent to this reducer. <coughs> so during the shuffle and sort phase each key will be <coughs> sorry taken separately with all the values get together at particular place. So that is the reason if you observe this on sat the values here each one is having the collection of all the values of that particular key so the d is having as d comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 that means this particular d value is repeated four times and everything is collected and kept at some place at one place as key comma value and this intermediate value is sent to my reducer which is throwing d comma 4 so the same way is happening with all the remaining values as well. So okay. But before going into that, I just wanted to explain you a few things. Okay. So if you observe the parameters from Linux to HDFS, there are few differences, right? HDFS. First of all, let's take the current directory. So, the current directory in Linux will start from home, right? Home. And then if at all, if there is any username that I want to define, I can give like this. Right? But in HDFS, it will start with user. So that is the reason we had created a separate user for HDFS and we we will we use it to log in using that user itself. So every user can log in into Hadoop separately and each user will be differentiated based on the directory starting from user. User and then if at all I want to give any name I can give my username. Right? And if you take the owner in Linux, the owner is root itself. So everything will start with root. But in HDFS, the owner is HDFS itself. So if you take Hadoop, there will be two users, right? Actually, one is the H HDFS user and another one is MapReducer. So here, the owner of HDFS is HDFS itself. And if you take permissions, maybe on my home directory if 
at all i give make directory text or something here i will get an error as access or permission denied but here if i try to create some directory so the command i use is hadoop fs make directory some test or something right so here also i use it to get the same error if i give directly instead of logging with that user right so if that is the case i have to create a directory using sudo command right sudo is a command which will make us to create or which will make us to give some admin access so in hdfs only the admin guy can create directories but if at all you want to create some directory in the home path then you have to give it sudo so these are few differences when compared to linux and hdfs so coming to our program each properly developed my produced program will have three components on this mapper second one is producer and the third one is main class or driver class which where the execution starts from here okay so the mapper mapper class will have the map function reducer class will have the reduce function and this is main no logic or nothing will be there here only the map uh, main driver class i will show you what this driver class will contain now okay so let's go to our program once so this is what my word count program is about so as discussed we are having three classes here right the first one is word mapper which is a mapper class and the second one is sum reducer which is the name i kept for my reducer class and the third one is word count which is the name of my driver class so the execution starts from the word count dot java so if you observe this program so for the first step is i am importing all the required <coughs> classes that were needed to run this program and from here the main class is going to start so every program will start its execution from public static void main class right so from the main itself the program will start executing so this is the first line that is going to be executed in my word count program so what this particular code is doing is it is calling a tool runner class and it is asking to do something so here i had given like tool runner dot run so that is the reason it goes into public int run so my tool runner is calling a program a particular step called as run so here what i am checking is if arguments dot length not equal to 2 that means if at all my arguments are less than 2 or it is not equal to 2 then i am trying to throw an error but exactly what tool runner does is so okay let me take an example so here is my word count program sitting and here is my tool runner
करते हैं so if i tell i want to execute my word count dot program i have to give my jar file to execute it right so let's imagine the jar file is word count dot jar so once once i submit word count dot jar what my word count program will do is uh hey i am calling a tool runner such that it will give some uh what i can say is such that it will give some qualifications or some extra accesses such that it is overriding my admin configurations okay so my, my tool runner has the capability right some admin configs so suppose my admin has decided that the number of reducers that are going to be run in my hadoop cluster is only one tool runner has that capacity or capability such that it can override those properties in my cluster so the word count dot jar once it is submitted to my wordcon program my program will go to tool runner and say like can you please apply six reducers to my hadoop configuration and call call back my jar program so so wordcon program is calling the tool runner as so this is my object and it's going to send its arguments as well so this is what my wordcon program passes before it calling the it calls the tool runner class so it will send the wordcon program itself and then the arguments now tool runner will check the arguments number of arguments and if it is less than 2 as per my code it is throwing error and if at all the arguments that i am passing is correct it is going to apply six reducers to my cluster or to my program so it's up to me like how many reducers i want to run so it's not only the case with reducers any configuration that was decided by my admin i can override it using my tool runner so or else by default also i can call my tool runner to run such that it will accept the arguments it will check for the arguments and then it will execute it so that is what the functionality of a tool runner here i am trying to check only the length of arguments not anything else and if at all if it is not equal to true not equal to 2 i am throwing an error so that's what the command says here this says that my execution need two input arguments that is here i am trying to give an input file and an output file so and the next step is jobconf.conf is equal to new job configuration so this particular step what it does is it will try to include all the configurations or it will try to extract all the configurations that were given in my three configuration sites dot xml so it will extract all those configurations and apply it for my program and the next step i am just declaring a job name to this particular program and these two steps are actually giving my paths or arguments so the first one is file input format dot set input path so it is going to give it is going to pass my first argument which will be my input file then i am executing this particular word count program and my output path is something the argument which i am going to give it in my execution run and that is my first argument so through this 
two steps I am trying to pass both the arguments that is my input file and my output file and from here to here I am declaring the properties of my mapper and reducer so here I am giving my mapper class as word mapper dot class so that is the reason I am having my mapper class with the name as word mapper dot java if at all I am giving him here as only mapper dot class I have to write my mapper class with the name as mapper dot java and the same thing is with reducer I am setting the reducer class name as some reducer dot class and that is the reason I am having my reducer class name as some reducer dot java my voice is breaking now guys you are able to hear my voice anybody is having any issue with my audio hello hello guys are you able to hear me yes yes few of the people are saying that they are fine so anyone else is having an audio issue okay 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 fine I'll be more louder okay so you are clear till this step right set mapper class and set reducer class so any issues on this fine let me go ahead okay so the next step talks about set map output key class so here I am determining what type of key that I am going to give through my map face so here I am declaring it as text dot class so the key is for example uh, if you imagine that high comma one and how comma one is the output that was sent by my map face here the key is high and how right so I and how or text and that is the reason I am declaring it as map output key class as text and the next one is map output value class here the values I am declaring it as int writable so in Java we will have as integer boolean or some other different phases right so here I am trying to declare it as int writable so this one comma one will be int writables and now set output key class so this is the final output key class that I am going to generate from my reducer class so that will be declared using set output key class and again I am trying to give it the key value with text only because the key is not changing from map face to reduce face right so I am having the te it as text only and even though it is a particular word count program even my reducer will generate the count itself with int writable only right so there is no change in the formats from my mapper output to my reducer output right so that is the reason I am having the key comma value as text comma int writable and my job client is call, calling my run job here so this is where my word mapper and some reducer classes are being are going to be called so let's go to the map phase and see what we are doing there so from here I am trying to start my program public class word mapper extends map reduce place implements mapper so let us imagine one particular split has been given as input to my word mapper so that input split is 1 comma hi how are you so the key is 1 and the value itself is hi how are you so what my face my map face is doing is it is reading the key values and emitting 
the intermediate values and those intermediate values are being collected by my output collector so the output collector is a value where i am collecting all the keys and values that my map class is going to generate and once everything is collected i am just there is a reporter where he will report all these values so the first step i am having here is string s is equal to value dot to string here i am trying to divide my whole string into different values so i am trying to convert my hi how come are you to a string so once this particular step is executed my whole string will be divided into number of words itself so now hi how are you becomes hi how or and you so each word is being splitted here so for each split i am counting the number of word or i am emitting it as new text word comma new intractable of 1 so for every word i am emitting it as word comma 1 if you remember the algorithm which we had seen i am emitting as w comma 1 right so for each word i am emitting as hi comma 1 how comma 1 or comma 1 and u comma 1 so that is what just the simple functionality i am having in my map phase and coming to the reducer phase all the intermediate values are being collected and the shuffle and sort phase sort phase have been done intermediate inter intermediately through the <coughs> framework our hadoop framework and thus the input to my reducer class would be as hi comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 if at all i am having hi as four times okay for my whole split if at all i am having it as four highs it would be generating the input to my reducer phase as hi comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 so just imagine it as an example it's not particularly for that particular input split i'm just giving you an example so here i am reading the text and all the iterator values so hi com hi is sent to through this value and my whole iterator values will be sent as 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 so this loop will be execute is going to execute four times for this particular hi key so i am trying to declare a particular variable called as word count and i am initializing it to 0 and i am executing or i am iterating this particular loop until it doesn't have a next value so every time i am giving or i am adding aggregating the values as word count is equal to word count plus value dot get and hence once the whole loop is executed it will generate the output as hi comma 4 how comma 3 and or comma 5 only in the case if my input is hi comma 4 ones how for 3 ones and or for 5 ones and now i am collecting all these output values in my output collector and this will be sent back to my particular developer or client so that is what that is what the word count program talks about so let's try to run this program and see how the output works okay HTK Emphasis provides world class online IT training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide H2K Emphasis how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab 
resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.